Welcome to the Freelance Portal. In this video, we are going to show you how to log into the portal for the first time using your mobile phone or tablet. Having the mobile app on your phone will allow you to complete a time card anytime and anywhere. But more importantly, it will provide countless excuses for goofing off on your phone whilst on set. We will cover how to create an account, save your digital signature, and then complete and submit a time card. We will also show you how to amend a previous time card and resubmit for approval if necessary. You can download the Freelance Portal app from the Google or Apple Store. Or you can go directly to the website and save the link to your home screen. Either way, both methods work the same. In this example, we will show you the web browser approach. First, let's go to the portal website. Once you have arrived at the login page, click Create an account. Type in your name and email address and then enter your mobile number. Don't use a fake mobile number because you will be getting a verification code to it in the next step. Create and re-enter a password and then you are ready to click Sign Up. Next, you will get the verification code to your mobile. Enter the code and click Verify. Once you are in, it's best to first set up your signature before submitting any documents. To do so, click on Settings and then Signature Setting from the navigation bar. Now draw in your signature. Or you can also use the Typed Signature option. Then scroll down and then click Save. Now click Company to link up with the production you are working for. Click the Add icon and then enter the company ID which should already have been provided to you. Click Fetch and the company details will appear. If you don't know the company ID, contact your accounts department. Scroll down, making sure you have pulled the correct company information. Fill in your department and position and click Save. You are now ready to submit your first time card. To do so, click Time Card in the navigation menu. Then click the Add icon. Select Week Ending Date and double check and amend, if necessary, your department and position. Now click on the Times button and start plugging in your hours. This window can seem daunting. Just make sure to mark the date as worked. Then enter your start and end times. And lastly, add in a meal break if applicable. Once you have completed entering all your hours for the day, click the Save button. Then continue copying or entering each workday until you have the correct total hours for the week. You can use the handy Copy Yesterday's Times button to help speed through the process. When you have completed entering your hours for the week, click the Save button. Use the Attachments section to attach any relevant documents, for example, your invoice. Now, if you feel good and ready to submit the time card, go ahead and click Submit. If you are not ready, just click Save and you can come back to this screen at another time. After clicking Submit, click Submit again and you will get a pop-up window confirming that your time card has been emailed to the production. You can then locate the time card in the document section. From there, you can view or amend the time card. To amend, click the ellipsis menu and select Edit. The time card will then be moved back to the Drafts Time Card section. From there, you can amend and resubmit for approval. Now is a good time to add the web app to your home screen for easy locating next time you want to log in. Every phone has a different method for doing so, but here is how it's done on an iPhone. The freelance portal will now be located as an icon on your home screen, which conveniently looks just like the Plants vs Zombies icon. Hey, what can you say? It was an honest mistake. That's it for this video. If you have any questions or feedback, shoot us an email.